disorient. Uh, notice that slight flinch that could buy time to come in and start working the, uh, the impact of the flashlight. Because the, the tacks are going to be arced, um, the uh, edge will still have a similar effect as crenolated because you're not always hitting flat. It can be hitting at, at an angle more often than not. Uh, if he comes in, if I'm turning a corner and then he comes in and thinks this is some kind of weapon or whatever and he tries to take uh, the flashlight away, it's still near the high compressed ready position so you can bring it in and still work your high compressed ready techniques from this position. Um, this slight notch from the flashlight, if you study any fighting arts like Mattis Boxing, this still allows you to collect the defense from here, where if I'm working, we can still rake. Even if he's flexing, I'm just trying to rake it just enough to get to the inside so I can work everything I need to work from there. So, obviously he's kind of a mannequin. I'm just trying to demonstrate some of the concepts. We're not doing force on force. Okay. So, that's the advantage of the uh, El Zeta flashlight for disorienting, for lighting up the room, obviously, uh, and low profile, not perceived as a weapon right off the bat unless you know what you're looking at.